everyone, this is Lauren DiCaprio, and I'm here to show you how I get the students engaged to begin our coil building technique project. And through a PowerPoint and some linked videos, I have the opportunity of engaging students and getting them excited for the project. One way I like to do that is through the use of images little bit of history on coil building. Uh, when we do this, we get the chance to talk in the class about what items around them in their life are made with coils, or at least are made with clay. And we get the chance to start to think about what in our life is made out of clay. So I'll have students talk to the person next to them and say, what in your life do you know that's made out of clay? Through the use of images and fun opportunities to explore projects that have been done in the past, students can see different examples of projects made with coils. Lots of different images that show different colors, different shapes, and different ways that building with coils can make a cool project. We go through the daily expectations of what they should learn today, and the PowerPoint guides students through with what tools they need, step-by-step -step directions, the handout, helps them, guides them right along to make different shapes in clay, learning how to make coils, using those coils to make shapes like a cylinder, a bowl, and an in and out shape, where they get a teacher check off after each step, which allows them to feel supported. And ultimately, I say they graduated from Coil Building University, and then they're ready to go into their project. What makes it fun from that point, really, after seeing another handful of student projects in the past and step-by-step -step directions, I'll go through quickly here to make this a little bit easier. Uh, but the next piece that I really like to have students view is a fun, engaging video that I'll get to here that includes my children, let's find the video here, and by using my kids in the video, I am able to have them be a little bit more engaged and also allow students to know that if these small boys can do it, so can they. So by using editing and video techniques, students are a little bit more engaged they see the exact tools that are in our workshop that we use and they see exactly what they should be doing so I use the same uh, handout in the video as we do in class and I go through step by step to show the students exactly what's expected of them so we talk a little bit about Coil Building University and through the use of editing and music and engaging strategies like using these small boys. Students are then bought into the project and hopefully excited to be able to do it. That's all I got for this time.